Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, bit of a different video than what I was planning to film this weekend. So it's currently Sunday the something of September. I'll put it in the screen, I'll check what the date is. And yeah, I was meant to have quite a busy weekend this weekend with ponies, but um, yeah, things have been cancelled out of respect for the Queen, which is totally understandable. Um, so yeah, a bit of a quieter weekend. But it meant I had time to think about what do I want to film and get out on my channel because, yeah, basically, original plans were yesterday, Pizzazz, who is actually here, back at home, I can't put in my eye, yesterday, me and Zazzy, I'll come and see her, were meant to be at Gatcom for our last run pre siren sester park at the end of the month which is our big three-day event our big championships that we have qualified for so that was meant to be yesterday so obviously i would have vlogged that and you would have had an eventing vlog out but that isn't happening and today hugo uh was meant to be show jumping and stepping up a level with his show jumping but again oh sorry hugo nothing is none of that is happening this weekend which is totally fine so i thought what could i film and going back to pizzazz and what we've got on are you gonna come and do the intro too well in two weeks today me and zazzy will all things being well be show jumping at science Sister park as the last day of our three day event there. So obviously I'm gonna do a full vlog on the champs. So I won't go into too much detail about the whole structure of the champs themselves, but basic structure is that it's a three day. Have I mentioned that? I think I've probably said that about at least three times in the last minute. So we, um, it's long format. So the first day we do our dressage and that's on the Friday. On the Saturday, we have our cross country phases and on the Sunday, we show jump um, in reverse order to how you are doing in the placings, I guess. Um, but yeah, there'll be a whole separate vlog on that, but it is the biggest event fitness wise that me and Zazie have ever had to do together and Pizzazz actually has never done a lot ow I might go and stay with Pizzazz so I don't get bitten whilst trying to film Pizzazz has actually never done a long format event either so we are both winging it first time for both of us um and yeah it's going to be quite a big fitness test for us both especially God, the flies are awful today. Especially being the grand old age of 21, we've just got to make sure that her fitness is the best it can be so that she copes with everything over the weekend. So, all that being said, she is here now at home, as you can see, for the next two weeks or thereabouts before the we go to Siren on Thursday. So yeah, I thought it would be interesting and fun to document what I'm doing with Pizzazz on these last couple of weeks before the champs to make sure we are all ready. And today I am giving her a jump on grass at home. So I need to go and set that up in a minute. Obviously yesterday we were meant to be eventing. So that was gonna be my last proper jump on grass and practice jumping a course on grass before Siren. So I'm gonna replicate that and do that today instead. And yeah, luckily we've had enough rain now that our ground is nice and soft, um, but we've had a break from the rain that it's not slippy. It's such a fine line. So I'm gonna go and set up a course of show jumps now at home. And hopefully we'll rope mum into filming so that you can see me giving her a jump. Um, and I, I obviously I'm not going to film every single day leading up to the event because that would make this a very long vlog but on the days where we're doing something particularly interesting or something that I wouldn't normally do so something specific for this event I thought I would document it a little bit so yeah you can see what I'm doing a bit differently to get ready for this event in comparison to a normal one day event so I hope you enjoy whatever the rest of this vlog entails because I'm not quite sure either but yeah day one is show jumping course on grass.
so it is a few days later now and uh, today the task in prep for next weekend today is currently Friday so in a week actually that's quite fitting for what I'm practicing today in a week it's cross-country day no it's not no no it's not in a week it's dressage day in a week it's dressage day but in a week and one day it is cross-country day so next Saturday is cross country day and that includes with a three day roads and tracks so it is very traditional long format we have got to do roads and tracks i again obviously in the actual champs vlog will go through all that but basically what roads and tracks pretty much entails is um it's three phases you have to do basically before you go and do your normal cross country round like you would at a one day event. Phase A is like a quick hack to warm them up. I think it's meant to be at like a brisk trot. Phase B is your steeplechase where you gallop around and do some steeplechase fences. I'm really sorry if it's a bit windy. And then phase C is a longer hack to kind of cool them down from that steeplechase and you then do your cross country after that. So what I thought I'd do today, because I've never ever done anything like that, is try and do those first three phases or try and recreate them as best as I can. I'm just gonna catch the devilish mare and then I will keep going with this. As you know, she can be a bit tricky to catch, so I just wanted to focus on catching her. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna try and recreate those phases as much as I can. So I have written down all the timings and distances that um, have been put up for that rose and tracks. I've got my watch on here to try and time us. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and yeah recreate them. So go on a short trot hack and try and do about the same distance as phase A when and time it so that when I finish I'm in one of our fields so I can give her a good canter and gallop around obviously I don't have the jumps but it's just getting used to the format of it I guess so yeah I'm gonna finish in one of the fields so I can give her a gallop and then I'm gonna carry on and I'm just gonna try and eat come here carry on and keep going for a bit a bit of more hacking to replicate phase C which is the kind of cool down from steeplechase. So here me and Zazzy have just finished our phase A three-quarter hack and we're just having a walk around because we have a one minute interval between phase A and B and this is the field that I wanted to finish in because as you'll see in a sec it's a really nice field for having a good gallop around like look at that oh, it's so nice so about to have a gallop around to try and mimic our steeplechase just finished our galloping and we galloped for two minutes just trotting her off so we're meant to be in phase C now it's a half an hour hack I've come back to walk it's far too windy for you to be able to hear at trot and also I don't want to kill the poor thing off. So you're meant to gallop 0.7 miles is what I worked out in two minutes. Well I galloped her for two minutes and we managed to do half a mile, 0.5. Um, so I don't know how that's possible. And for phase A as well we do it in enough time but we did have to go over some road where I had to walk I kind of the whole thing we met a couple of cars on the road which had stopped to let past um so now we're meant to be going for our half an hour hack but I don't know I don't want to kill her off obviously she's going to have to do it at the event I think I might just take her for a walk because tomorrow I am actually taking her to a gallop track to gallop her so didn't want to do loads today but I think I need to have a look again at that um timetable and work out my timings I mean obviously at the event I'll have the cross country app and I can put all my minute markers in going round roads and tracks so it will work it out for me because 
Today seemed very fast and I know she's not the fastest horse but she has got a long stride so I'm hoping I've worked it out a bit wrong because otherwise I don't know how we're gonna get in and then after this after half an hour she's then got to go around a cross country track but that was good for me to have a go at it today and um, see that it is quite fast um, yeah so I think I'm just gonna walk her off now but that was me attempting to practice roads and track. It was a bit of a fail, but it's my first time doing anything like this. So I just wanted to give it a go to see what I was in for. It's probably gonna get even windier down here. So yeah, like I said, tomorrow I'm taking her to Gallop and I think I'm gonna attempt to do the full um, course. It's like six minutes. So I'm gonna attempt to work up to that. So I probably will catch up with you tomorrow for another short fitness session in the lead up to the champs. One week today and counting. Right, here we go, galloping day. Bazaar's looking happy and ready to go as ever. And today we have got GoPro footage because I was by myself and I thought this would be a good way to get some cool footage of our kind of last proper fitness session where I wanted to run through galloping for six and a half minutes which I think I already covered is the optimum time for our phase D, the cross country round. So that was one big aim for today and also just to work on her fitness. So I did quite a decent warm up of interval training, uh, like trot and canter intervals I guess and for eight minutes before I even did the six and a half minute course. So she did quite a lot. Oh, here's me putting up um, an Instagram story of me and Pizzazz at the gallops. And here we are starting our one minute of trot followed by one minute of canter kind of intervals to warm her up. For this three day event, the main thing has been Pizazz's fitness for cross country to make sure that she will be able to cope with the Saturday, the speed and endurance day as it is called. So I think this is us now on our six and a half minute course having a very fast canter slash gallop around the edge and she was absolutely loving it. I was really pleased with her because she coped really well, she found the time easy and the main thing as well which I was looking for was her recovery and she actually recovered really quickly within 10 minutes she was breathing normally completely back to normal so yeah I was really pleased with her and it was nice to have a go at the six and a half minutes because that's a lot longer than any country course I have ever done. <laughs> Right, we are back at Poppy's. You might recognise it. Well, you can't really see the gallop track, but back at Poppy's for our final jump before the big event. So, yeah, it's Monday. It is um, officially the week of Sirencester. So we are on board now, warming up, and then we're going to pop round a course in prep for a show jumping day. Once I've warmed Zazzy up over that jump, we then did the course and I will be quiet and let you enjoy it because she jumped so well, like she jumped insanely well so yeah, really pleased with her, how well she felt 
this day, jumping and fingers crossed she jumps this well at the weekend but regardless I was just so pleased with how well she pinged around this so yeah I will let you watch and enjoy it. Well done. It is the final day before we leave for Siren Sister. So it is Wednesday and we leave tomorrow. So um, yeah, the last day of this prep vlog for what I'm doing. And today we are running through our dressage test one more time in a 20 by 60 arena because I have done it at home on the field, but it'll be good to do it in an actual 20 by 60. So yeah, credit to Melissa. Thanks for letting me come and practice at yours because yeah, it'll be very handy. Um, I'm on my own again. Um, Mum opted out today, so it's just me and Zazzy. But what I'm going to do is warm her up and then I brought my little tripod thing. So I will try and set up my phone at A or something so you can see how we get up to today and how well she behaves. And yeah, it's our final run through the test. I need to try and go back through it in my head because I've been focusing on Hugo's test from this weekend so now that that's out of the way I need to switch back into this test and try and remember it so yes final day today of prep before we leave tomorrow so I'm a little bit nervous but just trying to go through everything and keep my mind off it a bit and hopefully today will be a good schooling session and yeah she goes nicely we'll see Well, that concludes the end of my prep for Cotswold Cup Champs vlog. It is Wednesday night, the night before we leave. The lorry is almost back. A bit more to do in the morning. It's looking rather full, but I mean, I'll probably show you that tomorrow on the next vlog. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog to see a bit of a glimpse into what me and Pizazz were doing. 
to get ready for the show and yep stay tuned for the actual event vlog which should be coming out next and I will be starting in quite under 24 hours tomorrow so yeah enjoyed this one and yeah see you in the next one for the actual three day event.